All right, we are here at Matsura today with my friend Yuto Sun or Mr. Yuto Matsura. Pretty incredible to be here. We were just looking at the hand scraping, which is where we're going to start today in this production factory. Now, hand scraping has been discussed. The first thing that pops into everyone's mind about hand scraping is it equals to accuracy. It equals to precision. So let's talk about some of the details of how we get from the word of hand scraping to accuracy and precision by what he's doing right here, right now. It looks like there's even some small painting in this mm -hmm. area. Okay, so this is a hand scraping obviously. So we do paint first, then we put uh, this heavy column on the bed and uh, check the contact surface. So if you take a look this side of the surface, the green, uh, sorry, black area is actual contact surface. As you can see, the contact surface is not everywhere. It's not like, it's very limited and it's not well balanced. And uh, we Matsura believe that in this situation, every time machine moves, Every time machine moves, it gives stress to this area. Eventually, machine cannot maintain its accuracy. So that's why we take time to make sure to, uh, in, to increase, contact, uh, in, increase contact surface for vibration dumping, for longevity and reliability. Yeah, that makes sense, Yuta san So uh, to keep it simple for some of the audiences watching right now, what we're talking about is the material is sitting flat. We think it's already you know, darn near perfect, but there's going to be deflection yes. in heavy parts, which is this big heavy piece that we're looking at right here. That piece gets put on and off with hand scraping in between to adapt to all of that deflection in the part, right? Yeah. And that makes sense to me when it comes to weight. However, what's unique about Matsura, I see a much smaller piece over here, but it's the same exact concept on so many other pieces as well, isn't it? Yes. So. We basically do hand scraping to all the areas we believe vibration could be transferred. So for example, this, this part is a ball screw base, which is of course their vibration transferred. And we make sure they, it has a good scraped surface for vibration damping so that it, it can long, uh, run perfectly. And also it is reliable. Yuto san, so you know we work together. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of your really, really happy customers. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the uh, idea and the concept of five axis pallet change mm -hmm. machining from 30 years ago or so. Mm -hmm. It's pieces like this that allow your machines to say, mm -hmm. stay reliable mm -hmm. and precise for decades on end where these customers are still satisfied for mm -hmm. so long, right? Yeah. So our idea is there, of course, there are many ways to compensate accuracy error using software or controller function. But we Matsura strongly believe that building mechanical accuracy always comes first when we talk about reliability and longevity. So that's why we take time to make sure this has a good scrape surface and have a very quality assembly and and our technician here, in addition to having a good sur scraped surface, we make a micron level adjustment so that, the, as you said, uh, to cancel the deformation, we make a careful adjustment so that the machine, uh, machine achieves a mechanical flatness. And this is a key to reliability, longevity, and we believe that our beloved customers like our product. I, that makes sense. Now, we're looking at the hand scraping here. We see it on the big piece. We know the deflection. We know the reasons why you're doing some of the, the small parts here for that reliability of over a long span of time. Normally, this is the end of my conversation and the end of the camera. However, do you think I could sucker you into showing the audience a little bit about your production line over here but what? where the magic happens? Why not? Let's oh, go. you're amazing. I'm so excited <laughs> you're able to do this. I'm excited to show you guys what's going on as well. Hand scraping is so important to the precision, accuracy, longevity, all of these things we know we want to invest in when we're investing in the future of our companies. But now we have the opportunity as we look around to see how some of these machines are being made. The first thing I want to ask you, Mr. Yuto san, Matt Sura, do you have a favorite or are all these your babies? Do you love every single one of them? Well, it's an interesting question, but I would say MX330 PC10. It is our best selling machine. And uh, I think it is very unique machine compared to other machine builders. We have a very small, I mean, a footprint, a PC10. It is a very you know, unique design. And this machine, I think we developed the MX330 PC10 in 2017. 
and we shipped the many machine, it opened our new customers. It opened many doors for us. That's why I like MX330 PC10, because it makes a good relationship with the new customers. I think that's a fantastic answer. If I'm gonna answer as well, I really like pretty much your whole MAM series, with that 72, the palette change. I mean, these things, incredibly successful stories. However, what a brilliant technology when I think of the Lumex as well. Mm -hmm. When I think of what additive manufacturing can bring, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of my, my transition as well. With that being said, let's bring the camera guy mm -hmm. over here. Take a look. Yugo Sun, do you know the overall square meters, square feet, size, and when did this factory first launch? Okay, so this is a Take factory. It's actually, this is not our headquarters. This factory is only do assembly. In our headquarters, we have manufacturing facility, so, and also office work. I will say this facility is about 17,000 square meters. Wow. And we have a beautiful lines to manufacture our small size machine like MX330. And the other line, we have a MAM 70 to 35B production line. So we're going to get to see the headquarters as well, which I'm excited about. My camera guy loves straight lines, which is what you have here. Blue is one of my favorite colors. So I'm very excited to be here. Now, you have a huge line of machines, a great broad range of machines that go from a small footprint to a lar much larger footprint, with the focus a lot of times being on allowing people to do more mm -hmm. through the nights, through the mm -hmm. weekends. I've talked with companies of yours who have taken their third shift, moved them to second or first shift, mm -hmm. and still get equal or more production out of what's going on. Here in this facility, because you have such a large line of machines, mm -hmm. not everything is done here. What ones are being made in this facility right here? Okay, so this facility mainly for small size machine, as I said, MX330, MX520, and some are smaller horizontal, and MAM 70 to 35B. And uh, these machines are have a, a big number of shipment in our models, so that's why we have uh, this beautiful line to line their older models here so that we have an efficient assembly. You know, son, I have a question for you. And this is another one of those okay. fun ones about, I wonder if I'm weird or I'm not. Now, I look at your machines and you've done a really great job on the outside of making them look beautiful. And I've even seen some pink ones out there. So that's kind of fun too. But is it weird that I think the machines that are still being made and we see the guts and internal mm -hmm. components are equally as sexy as the ones that are being put together? I think that's just beautiful seeing all the artwork and manufacturing, and engineering and precision that goes into what you're doing. And might I add, I bet your guys are extremely proud of what they're doing here as well, aren't they? Yeah. So we are very proud because Fukui is very countryside in Japan. You, you never know how you know, small area we are living in. But not many people expect our product is shipped everywhere in the world. And actually, there, there are people on the other side of the planet love our machine. This is uh, something we can really proud of. And uh, we have, obviously, MTDCNC is a great service because you deliver customers' testimonial, their voices. And uh, I, actually, we put the uh, Japanese subtitles on the video to share the, all the, share the videos with all the employees so that they can see happy customers. And it is very, really important for us to, you know, be proud of a good manufacturer located in Fukui, Japan. You definitely have a lot of very happy customers. That is for sure. Yuro-san, thank you so much for allowing us to show a little bit of the factory here for the audience that's watching. I can't wait to show them even more. We have so many incredible videos coming from Japan. Thank you all for watching. Yuro-san, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you, thank Tony. you for saying the great accolades <laughs> about MTD. Yeah. We weren't even expecting that, but thank you so much for doing that, my friend. Thank you.